Do you know the sinister workings of cyanide on the human body? Cyanide, perhaps one of the most infamous chemical compounds known to mankind, possesses a reputation that sends chills down the spine. It's a name that's been intertwined with tales of espionage, murder mysteries, and deadly assassinations. This chemical compound, small yet so potent, has been the silent weapon of choice in many a crime tale. But what exactly makes cyanide such a lethal agent? To understand its lethal potential, we first need to delve into its chemical characteristics. This deadly compound works by disrupting the normal functioning of our cells, more specifically, the cells involved in producing energy. When cyanide enters your system, your cells are deprived of the much-needed oxygen, leading to various fatal consequences. Now, let's take a step-by-step -step journey to unravel the mystery of cyanide's deadly effects. Imagine cyanide, a seemingly insignificant molecule entering the body. It could slip in through the air you breathe, the food you eat, or even the skin you touch. It's a stealthy intruder, commonly found in industrial processes, and even some natural substances like in bitter almonds or the seeds of an apricot. Once inside, cyanide wastes no time. It's rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream, making its way to every corner of the body. Its small size and lipid solubility allow it to easily cross cell membranes like a ghost through walls. The real horror show begins when cyanide meets cytochrome C oxidase, a crucial enzyme located in the inner mitochondrial membrane. This enzyme is the final gatekeeper in the electron transport chain, responsible for transferring electrons to oxygen during cellular respiration. But cyanide, the saboteur that it is, binds to the iron center of this enzyme, effectively blocking the path of oxygen usage in cells. This leads to a state of cellular hypoxia and oxygen deprivation at the cellular level. It's like being at the top of Mount Everest without an oxygen mask, even though there's plenty of oxygen in the bloodstream. Without oxygen, cells struggle to produce adequate energy in the form of ATP through oxidative phosphorylation. As cellular energy production plummets, essential processes within cells begin to fail. This metabolic shutdown can lead to a state of metabolic acidosis, disruption of ion gradients across cell membranes, and eventually, cellular necrosis, or cell death. The effects of cyanide are not limited to a single organ or tissue. It's a systemic poison, wreaking havoc on the entire body. Symptoms of cyanide poisoning can range from rapid breathing, headache, dizziness and weakness, to confusion, seizures, cardiac arrest and if not treated promptly, even death. So, to recap, cyanide is a ruthless killer. It interferes with cellular respiration, causing cellular hypoxia and metabolic failure. It prevents cells from using oxygen, leading to a cascade of devastating effects throughout the body, ultimately resulting in organ failure and death. Antidotes, such as hydroxocobalamin or sodium thiosulfate, along with supportive care, are crucial in treating cyanide poisoning. Cyanide's deadly dance is a grim reminder of the intricate balance within our bodies and the devastating consequences when that balance is disrupted. 